All right, this is uh, one that I was waiting on a part and just completed, so I guess I'll do a video on this one before I uh, throw it in a dungeon. Um, Black Cat JB76B, um, two-piece bass amplifier. Um, uses two 8417 tubes. The 8417s are high-powered version of the 6L6 tube. You can put a 6L6 or you know other um, octo family in there. 7581s run pretty good but the 8417s which this has they run best in them. And that's the RF deck. Pretty basic, just uh, standby operate uh, light and a meter. And over here is the power supply, um, just a uh, um, on-off power switch and a light. Pretty basic on the inside of the power supply. Um, full way bridge, electrolytic capacitors. Um, those green um, things on top are just um, wire round resistors. It uses some pretty heavy bleed in this black cat, and that's why it's got such big resistors. Um, it's got a uh, regulated bias circuit in there and filament, and that's about all going on in there. And over here is the RF deck, a little more densely populated, but basic stuff nothing you know super fancy it is a tetra amplifier uh, which means it has power on the um, screen grid and I kinda call it a tetra amplifier kinda like a turbocharger you know you can get more out of a tube with it with less drive you know more gain but uh, only drawback is the complexity of it you know you put in more voltage to the tube, an extra um, um, element you're putting voltage to instead of grounded, and it's a little harder on the tubes, you know, putting that turbocharger um, tetrode mode. But um, the plus is you get a lot of swing, a lot more gain, and um, actually you get a more linear um, output than you do with a grounded grid. Um, and what I mean by that, a uh, regular radio, you get four watts going in, swinging a let's say um, 20. If you did keep 40, you'd want it to swing the 200 to match what um, you know the um, amplifier did, just make the signal bigger. Um, but with most grounded grid amplifiers, if you did keep 40, you're only going to swing the you know a uh, hundred, if that. Um, but the black hats. Um, you put in 40 which this is designed to do or not you put in 40 you put in 4 but you make it dead key 40 and it swings to 200 and then you can dial it down from there and even get more swing but it's made the dead key 40 watts and swing to 200 peak that's what this amp is designed for so anyway I guess that's enough talking I'm gonna turn it on and let it warm up and while it's warming up I was having problems with the um, keying transistor for this. Uh, it's got an automatic sensing circuit and it uses a transistor to key the relay and on the right it uses a uh, originally a 2EN22242A um, transistor on the right but I was having problems with it. It kept blowing. It's got a pretty thick relay in this one and um, that relay's just a little stiff and it was just taking out the um, 2N222 so I ordered a um, that bigger transistor it's the same ratings you know voltages and, and gain and all that but it's uh can handle a lot more power basically a 2N2222 did I say that right um, can handle about 0.5 amps and that BD139 can handle 1.5 amps, so they handle um, three times as much power with the same game and then same other figures. And uh, it's been handling that relay very well, and 
got everything working again so anyway you ought to be warmed up I'm gonna put it on standby and 20 watt scale and let's put it on average this little mud duck midland I've been using lately for a basic radio dead can a little over three audio whistling about six only talking a little bit up to about four so not a big powerhouse going into this thing got it on peak audio 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 might hit 15 peak at best non-modulated mic mud duck radio going into this amp and getting my cord stuck again I better take care of that for one day that gets me so anyway I uh, got the amp on 200 watt scale on average and dead key in 35 audio audio talking about 90 on average hello 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 and last we're gonna put it on peak audio doing over 200 peak got a good set of tubes in it audio probably doing about 220 audio 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 pretty clean um, does have a lot of you know hint um, wow tongue tied today a little bit of rust in there uh, components and caps have been changed everything test out got some rust on that bottom cover there got some scratches and boo-boos on that on top cover there but other than that a lot of people you don't want to look inside because you'll see some stuff but that's uh not too bad and obviously with get tubes and the things doing what it's supposed to do audio audio anyway that's gonna be it for this one bye